The city of Manistee owns the Landmark Theater and each year spends about $100,000 to help the theater meet its budget. And that's on top of $200,000 every year to pay off loans from the theater's recent renovation. It became clear that the business model that we're using now is not sustainable for the long term without significant city you know, support. So if we're going to get the community and want their support, we need to turn the place over to them because they, they need to make the decisions. This past winter, the city asked for proposals, ideas to help get the theater on solid financial ground. Just a few proposals came in and Johnson Consulting was chosen. And I guess the thing that attracted us to them, they were very practical in their approach, you know, that it was going to be um, based on reality and not just real numbers, not kind of what we wish, but, you know, what, what the... Um, area can actually support. Right now it's still, we struggle, you know, we struggle for money, we struggle for sponsors, uh, uh, donations, volunteers, you know, we got a lot to compete with in this community because there's a lot of nonprofits. One key question is how the theater is managed. The city council is on the verge of dissolving the theater's current management board and Terry hopes the consultant can suggest how best to replace it. What is the structure that makes the most sense for the Ramsdale and all the different um, partners that we have. What's the most effective way of doing that? Because that's going to drive a lot of the policies and decisions that will affect programming. If there were an easy answer, it would already be uh, functioning <laughs> in that capacity. In Manistee County, Tom Kramer, ABC 29 and 8.